Hello, and welcome back to Western Supermare. No, fuck, I can't believe I did that again. Uh, to pulling up the slack. Uh, hi, uh, Josh and Sam, and anyone else who's watching. Um, that's, uh, I can't believe I did that again, is a reference to the fact that this is the second time I've attempted to record uh, the next round of the Champions League qualifiers. Unfortunately, the first round was, uh, I was halfway through the first game when Masha um, started chatting about something that was not really... Uh, uh, well, anyway, not something that uh, necessarily needs to be recorded, and so I didn't want to include it. And so I thought, I could just cut that bit out. And then I thought, no, it's, this has already bugged it up. Uh, and then I thought, oh, I could just replay the game, but then we'd already won 2 once. So I thought, no bugger it, I'll just go straight to the next uh, game. But I also started that video by saying, welcome to Western Superman. So I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, um, so you can see from the bottom there that we actually drew Dinamo Zagreb in the Champions League playoff. Now, we beat them 2-1 at home. Uh, we scored through Davidovs and Aldrius Urba. They scored right at the end uh, through Banovic, uh, which is very annoying. Um, we've also played a couple of league games since we've last played against Panathinaikos. Uh, we lost 2 1 to Belkatov and we won 1 0 against Legia. Now, I had intended to do another very long triple header, but what we'll do instead is we'll just play the um, Ruk Hujov game and then the Dinamo game, and then uh, I don't know how long it will take for the game to. Uh, to load the um, new group game, the group stages. I don't know how long it'll get to before we we get to choose that. So uh, we'll see. Um, but maybe we'll play on a little bit and find out how how that goes. Probably not. What will probably happen unless it happens immediately afterwards or the next day or two afterwards. What we'll probably do is I'll just record the next video uh, when we play our first group game. If we go through, I mean, actually, did I not say? Oh no. So yeah, last time I was saying. Uh, that I actually think that if we lose against Dinamo, um, we would still be in the group stage of the Europa League, I think. So we'll have to see how that goes. Anyway, first things first, let's beat Ruk Hujov because we've been a bit patchy. Um, we beat uh, Bucharest, but we were no, sorry, yeah, we beat Zagreb, but we were not good uh, really against them. Um, Mancia has been playing a little bit poorly. What a finish that is from Andre. He scored the winner in the last game. Just scored an absolutely sensational goal there. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Um, I've also been feed, fielding bids for Vasiliev, which obviously I rejected, and for George Nuri and for Pal Kerakesh. Uh, I've rejected all of them so far. I'm going to try and sell the uh, backup Ukrainian centre back we have instead of one of those two because uh, he's not as good as those two. Um, and obviously, I'm not planning to sell our best striker. So I need to. I actually, what I'm in. Oh, Jesus, man, see, we need to take him off the not the first position for free kicks. Um, what we actually really need to do is try and sign a sort of 18-year-old striker who's going to come through and can sort of play in the easier games um, to get some development in, and hopefully we'll be able to put challenge the other three um, in a, in a year or two. Orba, oh, Stepaniak, because I mean Orba's still only 19, I think. So obviously they don't need to be experienced to be good at this level. Um, they just need to be good enough that they can fill in for maybe five or six games a season. We have been caught out like that, where the uh, opponents used to run at a, basically a free goal. Uh, in every single one of the last three games, I don't know what's happening. I don't know why that keeps happening. Um, we've not changed instructions or pl or style of play or anything at all. So why they should sh suddenly choose now to start doing that, I don't know. Or whether they're missing just about. <sighs> Smoker. Um, the uh, conversation me and Masha were having that wasn't for air was about toenails. Um, so, you know, I probably could have included it now, uh, being as I've mentioned it, but uh, nope still not going to um, do that uh, but just to give you a flavor of what we're talking about Urban now uh, uh, what why didn't he would that technically have been a pass back is that what the game was trying to suggest Tarnowski now through or or, or, or. the the game we lost against Belkatov um, featured yet another example of defender dawdling or passing the ball and then a uh, striker stealing it from them oh dear Davidovs is injured but we have Pal Kerakesh to come on now um, who's almost I mean arguably an upgrade on Davidovs anyway Davidovs is not 
technically great he, he does fine for us because obviously we don't play in a great league but oh man see it finally gets it for the first time in possibly age forever he actually gets it around the wall but still it goes over because he's not very good at free kicks um, and I think I saw that uh, possibly our right back or maybe our left back is very tired so we'll have to see if they're still suffering when it comes oh flimsy um Stadion Shlomsky. Oh yeah, so they're, they're also from the same region of Poland, this this lot. Um, so things are going well. Who was not? So Mrazek was injured, but is not. See, so this is part of what I was sort of alluding to, I think, in another video. I think I mentioned it. That because we haven't had a proper pre-season and with the ability to sort of rotate um, those backup players who wouldn't play so much but would usually at least still get some game time in the... Uh, okay, interesting own goal there from. Well, I mean, not a mistake. He smashed it into the. <laughs> um, interesting, yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we. So players like, for example, Mrozek has not had. He would have. He would have played every single game of preseason at least forty-five minutes of, uh, in any of the normal. Uh, any of the other preseasons that we've done, so that's a slight worry that it means that our, our backup players are a little bit more knackered, but. I guess it's not so much of an issue if, I mean, he's still better than the players that we're coming up against and we can still sort of substitute him off for 70 minutes whilst we're looking for fitness for these players. Tarnowski shoots wide. He's not doing too bad now. He's on 70%. And I actually, oh, I could bring on Christofferson, who's been doing good. Um, I want to get Vasiliev and probably Kvist in on this game because I want to, let's go, let's do that now, at least for Kvist. I noticed that um, Zagreb were particularly poor. They struggled a lot against aerial bombardments. So I might keep Urba. I'm worried then he might be injured because he stopped moving. Um, so uh, Urba's good in the air and Mancia's decent in the air. I mean, he's not actually good in the air. He should be, but he's not. Um, whereas Vasiliev is small and uh, tippy tappy. Uh, but we scored both of our goals against them in the last game via headers, one from a corner, one from a cross. So uh, it might be an idea to try and keep Urba in or at least be able to bring him on. I think I might start with Vasiliev um, away because we might be able to sort of uh, catch them on the counter and, and Vasiliev is a more uh, assured finisher. Mancia now. Yeah, I think with that in mind, I might let Urba play the whole game here. Um, we might take off Mancia instead. Oh, have we taken off two players already now? Yeah. Watara, I'd like to. Oh, it's an interesting question. Okay, I'm going to take off Watara because he's obviously going to start in Zagreb. It's fun. This it's actually I quite like this this sort of difference in the way that the Champions League works as a competition when you're sort of a rubbish team, uh, rather than just going straight into the group stages and waltzing through them because you're better than you know seventy percent of the teams in the Champions League, like it was for Western. Um, in this one we're worse than 70% of the teams and we have to qualify before we even get to the group stages which really adds a different layer to our league season because it means you have to sort of plan the whole thing differently um, Matus uh, so yeah I, I did mention I think that obviously if we upgrade if we get uh, Poland's reputation up a bit and their, their um, what's it, what's it, how do you call it the coefficient uh, eventually, like if we continue to do well and if we constantly qualify for the Champions League group stages and, and then manage to get out of it, eventually that will up Poland's standing and we'll sort of start to be able to join the qualification periods later and later and later and eventually go straight into the uh, group stage if we ever get that far. I mean, it seems unlikely we'd have to get probably some of the other Polish clubs doing well as well. Oh, flipping heck, hit the crossbar. Uh, Zagreb hit the crossbar from right here, shot hit the crossbar and then went straight up in the air it was beautiful <laughs> um, keepers Madame Rossov um, good interesting Gora now Gora's uh, decided he wants to stay I think that happened in the last video I think it was actually on camera but if it wasn't he has decided now that he wants to stay at the club uh, mainly because nobody wanted to buy him and since then his uh, his um, his 
performance levels have sort of gone back up to where we had been seeing them before that he he had a little drop off in form whilst people were interested in him and he was well no one was interested in him but whilst he was uh, expecting people to be interested in him and he, he sort of turned off a little bit same with Yuri Yuri had a couple of games where he was being bid on Sivaspor in, in Turkey desperate to get him and uh, they kept bidding for him and his performance has dipped a little bit um, but he seems to have got over that now Gura now up to Urba doesn't get there but Kvist gets there Kvist I like Kvist I think he's good um, Tarnovsky Kloss Urba Kloss Kvist Kloss oh Urba oh, he, his finishing that, <laughs> I mean I know, I know he's offside but his ability or inability to just finish simple chances is, is quite frustrating Kluska, oh dear. Gorda gets it to Mancia. Urba, oh, just one quick move, he could have put that in front of him. But whatever. Oh, Wukash Matush, Matus, Matus. Class crosses, uh, Frankowski clears. Going defensive for the last minute uh, and a half of the game. Smart idea from Rook. Urba, now. Kloss. Klaus. Urba Klaus smashes it over the bar. Zik would have scored there. He'd have just gone and would have curled in. Would have gone like that. That was the noise. If, if you could hear the noise, is that what the noise it would have made? And see ya. Oh, but we've won. A comfortable win in the end as well, I agree. It wasn't uh, like they made very much. Very nice indeed. Well done, lads. How does that put us in the league? We're now top again, although uh, Piast, 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 Piast have a game in hand. Um, our rivals are bottom of the league as well. Ha 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 ha. Oleg Davidovs. How good actually is he? Sam's a bit of a stato, so there you go. That's that's what he looks like. Um, he's fine. Again, he's not quick. He, he's he's actually not as good as Kerakesh, I think. So if we were be uh, but the thing is he's a bit like my um oh Dennis Wise is retired he's a respected manager he's been manager of England and 20s for 20 years <laughs> and John Eustace is going to take his job from him apparently oh, well interesting now then we've got to go to Zagreb and we've got to do a job we probably need to score i think it's unlikely that we're going to be able to qualify if we don't score at least one because they got their away goal and I have a feeling that they'll score at least one uh, at their place so we need to score as well uh, we also in terms of the league there we want uh, Jagiellonia to oh ok well we can see there that they haven't Muraski has scored and Piast won 1-0 one that's annoying but we'll, oh hello sorry <laughs> but we'll see we'll see what we can do in terms of going on ahead no, Belkatov having a great season this Berezinski scored against us as well he's crap he's crap Kershelton sign, sign Allen good on them well done them maybe we can look at um, Rangers or something and see if we can take a, a striker off them to take on loan especially if we get to the Europa League uh, sorry so especially if we get to the group stage of the Champions League Maybe they'd be more willing to let us take one of their players, particularly being as they got knocked out of the Champions League. So we're better than them. <laughs> oh, text. No, it's not a text. It's a Twitter. It's a twit. Something about the media blog. Let's have a look. Live Twittering on Ben's Football Manager game. How Brexit works. Uh, great. Okay, fine. Um... Now then, what's going on here? So they offer us this guy. No. Nope. Real Madrid is signing players like that. He's pretty good. Not that good though. He's not. Right. Slask have a narrow lead. Confidence as long as we stick to our plan. Um, I hate when they ask this question because they always follow it up with this one. And it's such a stupid question, like, will he get some game time? Well, there'll certainly, certainly be some rotation. Me, 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 me. Just fucking shut up, you bloody children. Right. A 
Okay, Viswa versus Polonia. Polonia having a terrible start to the season. Although, they, yeah, they drew that game, but uh, they are having a very bad start. They've won it two years in a row, and now they're 10th after four games, five games maybe. That's pretty poor. Hopefully it continues, because I like it when uh, the league can get a bit more sort of competitive outside of the traditional teams. Although, obviously, as so long as that's all below us, uh, because obviously we're the best and we want us to be the best. Now then, Almoroth. Yeah, I see Genk keep coming in for... No, you're not having him. Did I reject that? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. I was worried for a second that I had accepted it. I've done that before. Um, I think once when I was Western manager, I did it, and then I had to offer the, the guy I'd, I'd accepted the bid for. I had to offer him a massive contract that I hadn't expected to have to give him. There's a Polish team called Pelican. Don't know if you saw that. That was fun. Um, all right, so Davidovs is injured, but Karakesh can come in. Uh, this is the guy who I'm thinking I might get rid of, but let's just look at him. He's actually possibly better than Davidovs. <laughs> um, well, he can come in as our defensive cover for the day uh, because we don't really have anyone else who can... But we are going to start with Vasiliev because I want to, and we're going to bring on Jan for Tarnowski. Otherwise, the team looks pretty good. Oh, no, Mrozek comes out for Christofferson. There we go. That's the team. That's the team. Champions League group stages is 90 minutes away for us here um, you think it's going to go to penalties which means that you think they're going to win 2-1 okay I don't know let's just calm I have faith calm I have faith oh god are you were supposed to chill out when I said that okay well anyway there you go I've got faith in you old boys <sighs> let's see what you can do away at Zagreb Oh, 51 seconds in they've had a free kick but they didn't score it that is fine by me Levakovic Sindrik oh hello where did he come from fuck Gura is he already I bet he's already playing badly now that nervousness about him makes me slightly nervous uh, see now, maybe maybe if we had Uber on, then that would have been helpful. Uh, Gorse, whoa! What an effort was that! Fuck! So we need to score now. What the hell was that? Jesus! Okay, so they've got their goal. Are they going to get another now? Is that what? Is this how this is going to go? Yep, it is. Well, that was quick. So we now need to score just to take it to, just to. Uh, Gura's not doing nicely either. Oh man! <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, Christ's sake! We're not even playing that badly. Well, we'll leave it as it is. I guess three three goals in six minutes. That's insane blown us away a little bit there hopefully we can come back into this we only need to get two goals and we're through which seems like a lot at this stage but it's not uh, I don't think Gura is playing oh he was surely offside there Goose he's playing badly but then everyone else is as well oh, shit. I'm going to google what happens if you get knocked out of the Champions League playoff stage. Champions League. And they've scored again? No? Okay. Qualifiers. Gorse again. Um, second qualifying round. But it's not the second qualifying round, it's the uh, qualifying rounds. Okay. First. No. So the oh, it's the playoff round. So the playoff round, the losers enter the Europa League group stage. Okay, so we're going to be in the Europa League then, uh, it seems, unless something magical happens in these next few minutes. So are we starting to grow back into this? Gore is still playing badly. So is Christofferson. All the back four are playing appallingly. <laughs> Everyone is, to be fair. The best player is Watara. 
But I mean, the Europa League group stage is not that bad. It's not what I wanted, especially considering we won the home leg. That's very frustrating. Um, ooh, what can Jan do? Nothing. He's going to smash it wide, which is a frustrating result. Oh, this is fucking annoying. Okay. Leverkovic. George and Yuri now. He's got... The we were probably lucky to win that first leg, but still. That set... I mean, come on now. And Mancia is going to take it, and he's going to smash it into the wall, as he always does. <laughs> Gora, Jan, Kala, Gora, Kala, Watra, Vasiliev. Oh, you needed to finish that off, son. Someone's playing a 5.9 at the back there. That's very poor. Mancia now crosses. Mm -mm -mm. George and Yuri. Watara. Out to Gura. Gura crosses, but he doesn't get there. Kala. Kala's got it. Oh, that could have been beautiful. Ah, oh, the post. He was offside. He the post. Well, we've come into it a little bit more in these last few minutes. Yekovic. Oh, man. Yevkovic, his name is. Okay, we're going to go big and we're going to take off Vasiliev and we're going to bring on Tarnovsky for Jan. We're going to say assertive. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to say, show me something else. Passionate. You weren't that bad, but you can improve. I believe in you. Start second half. Right, let's see what we can do. This is a, a gamble. We've rolled the dice. So straight from kickoff, we got the ball. Gura, Kale. Uh, oh, that's a big ball. And Mancia. <laughs> Slap myself on the head. Eesh. That's very frustrating. Um, that could have been. That could have set us up so perfectly for this half as well. But there we go. Urba did just win the ball in the air, which is something we didn't do at all in the first half. So that's nice. Kale to Mancia now. Through to Andre. Andre. Oh, just tipped away, but Tarnowski. Oh, Kala, get there. God, the goose man is doing very well. Goran Goose. And he's injured. Okay, first things first. How good are you? Actually, you're okay. But you're going to be called Goran Goose. Okay, let's go back to the match and then hope that uh, hope that Cheza Kala is not injured too badly. Hmm. Looking motivated. <laughs> oh my god, football manager. He's injured. The physio is walking off slower than him. Come on. Get off the pitch. Oh, you violent piece of shit. Thank you. Good god. Right, George and Yuri now. Taking the ball. Andre. Oh, Watara. Rubbish. <sighs> Lev Levakovic, Tarnowski now. Urba, Urba, but Mancia. The ball falls to Mancia, and he smashes it over because he always does. How is Kala? He's at sixty-seven percent. Let's bring on Kvist. Karakesh is playing appallingly. So is Gora. That's very bad. Take off Kala. Don't want to lose him to a uh, needless injury when we know we're going to stay in Europe either way. Um, Karakesh to Kvist to Mancia. Mancia. For God's sake! Oh, Urba uh, and Mancia just. That's offside. <laughs> Why would you do that? If you're taking the throw and you're going to throw it backwards, you've got to run straight back on side, man. Christofferson, Andre, Mancia, Urba now. Urba's rounded his man and he's just appalling. Absolutely awful. Rock, Ro oh, I thought his name was Rockstar. Rock Roska. Rock Rockstar. The Rock Lobster. Come on, get one goal. Gura, 
If we get one, I fancy us to get a second because we've been all right despite that appalling 15 minute spell in the first half. Andre now. Andre crosses. Urba. Oh, that's. It said something must have been said at half time. Yeah, it's great, but we're still losing. Mancia crosses. Ah, it's another corner, but Goran Goose is coming off. 75 minutes. Uh, we need to go for it now. If we're going to try, if we're going to try, we're going to try hard. And I hate when you do that because it immediately just nothing happens. For the. <laughs> Except that the one, the one thing that happens from us going overload is that they get another goal because we were too far forward. Right, Mancia. Come on, boy. Give it out to Novotny. Uh, yes. Yes, come on, come on, don't, I mean, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Oh, you mugs, <laughs> idiot, get the ball. Uh, you've got three minutes, get the ball, you bellends. Sensational bellends. Go on, have a, have a chance. Uh, thank you, Gura, at least that we've got something here. It don't mind, uh, didn't even come fucking... So frustrating. Why does this game have that option if it, you never ever? I've so rarely do I do that and it makes any difference at all. Should have started with Urba. That means way offside. <laughs> what are you doing? For God's sake. Go on, come in. Dangerously late goal. Ah. Okay, well, we lost. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Urba. Crosses in. No. Kvist, uh, tackle him, tackle him, tackle him, tackle him. Ow, 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 that was an accident. Ow. Punch the table by accident. Unlucky. They did well. Well, they didn't do well. They did well to turn it around, considering how appallingly they played. But we were better than them. Damn it! We could have played young boys. They got beaten eight three. Oh no, we couldn't because they're on the other side. We could have played Torpedo Kutaisi. <sighs> so we've been given one point eight million for losing in the playoff. Which is not bad. Uh, we've been given £173,000 for a bit getting knocked out. They were lucky, according to everybody as well, which is bloody irritating. <sighs> Pelican went through, did they? Or did they just... Yeah, Pelican beat uh, MKS Klutchbork. Oh, you're just so angry. Okay, fine. Right, well, I'll, I'll be back when we find out what happened with the fucking Europa League. Bye.